Happy Thursday, Facebook friends. Welcome back to Facebook. I'm Angie Garza, Director of Professional Learning and Educational Services at ROE 47, serving Lee, Ogle, and Whiteside counties. And if you're joining us back here this fine fall Thursday, you'll know that it's time for another edition of Teacher Talk. And as we continue moving into this back to school mode and entering into season five of our teacher talk here at the Regional Office of Education, we are so happy to be talking with one of our colleagues from the office about a very important um, new service that we're able to provide to our young families and parents here in Lee, Ogle, and Whiteside County. So that's your teaser trailer here for this morning. Um, and to have these conversations, I am pleased to welcome my friend, colleague, and co-host, Ms. Stacy Dingus. And Stacy, I'll give it away. We're gonna be talking about child passenger safety, which is really important, especially as we're thinking about moving back to school and having kids in the car and headed off to all kinds of adventures for this school year. So um, excited to talk to Ashley this morning about this very important topic. Something that I feel like is kind of a common theme um, in our new teacher talks in season five that we have been doing is definitely this idea of our services and programming reaching outside of the classroom. And this is yet another example of how we at ROE 47 are realizing that um, we really have to provide services to our students, our teachers, our families, and our community. And proud to say that this is just another example of that. Um, so I'll let you do the, the introductions, Angie, and we'll get going and yet again inform our viewers about another great uh, programming and a service that we can offer here at ROE 47. You're right, we're always growing and expanding and that makes me so proud and so excited. And um, as we kind of introduce this new service, we are very pleased to welcome to our teacher talk here this morning, Ashley Teal. Um, and in just a moment, I'm going to turn it over to Ashley to introduce herself. Um, but, you know, there's, there's a little story behind this and maybe Ashley can speak to this a little bit later, but, um, we were just joking before we pushed the record button that um, there was an email that came across <laughs> Ashley's desk in her work with early childhood, and she sent it to me, and it was all about um, child passenger safety. So, friends, if you didn't know, September 15th through the 21st is National Child Passenger Safety Week, and there was an opportunity for some training to um, to help our 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 families be assured that their car seats were safely installed and being used in, in their vehicles. And I said, hey, that sounds like a great idea. Are you free? Um, so Ashley, you are always so gracious and you wear a, a variety of different hats in our office. So as we kick off our teacher talk this morning, would you mind introducing, because I don't know if you've been on, have you, have, have you done a teacher talk with us before? Oh my goodness. Well, please introduce yourself to our Facebook community. I'm Ashley Teal. Um, so I currently am a preschool coach and educator. So I'm working with the teachers and the families and the kids right now. And then I do other little things as need be too, as Angie said. So, you know, I alluded to the fact that, you know, we, we, we came across this and we were talking also before we pushed the record button that there aren't a lot of trainers in our area. So I'm so glad um, that you brought this, you know, to the forefront and that you invested all that time and training and hard work because it was a lot of hard work and you had to take a test and all the things. I'm hoping you can tell us more about that. But um, tell us a little bit more about this focus in Illinois on on car seat safety, on child passenger safety, maybe a little bit about what that training was like and how that translates this this year to some of the services that we're going to be able to provide our families in Leo Gold and Whiteside counties. So I I was lucky. I got to do a hybrid um, class, which not a lot of hybrid classes are offered. Um, so that that made it easier for me to do that along with working my full time job. Otherwise, they um, it's a week long course. But the work we did had to equal a week long course. Um, so like a eight to five every day. Um, so we had to do enough coursework to equal that. So um, we did weekly check ins, we did um, modules, I joked, I felt like I was back in college again. 
um, doing my, my tests and my, um, prep classes and all that good stuff. Um, so I did that every week. Um, I did it most nights since I was either, um, at home with my son or if I was working for the ROE. Um, and then, like I said, once a week, we did like a zoom check-in where I met with my coaches and other individuals through the state of Illinois who were also doing the class. And then at the very end, since it's hybrid, the last day um, for me, because I chose a one day end where some others got to do it throughout two different days, but we did an all day class. I did it down in Peoria and we were there from about 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. And um, we did a lot of like in-person checks with car seats. And then at the end of the day, we did like, it was, I think three hours. It was a community um, check event. So the community got to come in and get their car seats checked for free. And uh, yeah, so that was part of my training. Um, it's been many, many years since I had car seats in my own personal vehicle, but I do think that it's probably something that we just need a refresher on. People's lives get so busy. They just, you know, put their kid in the car seat and go. And that idea, like I said before, of maybe being um, cautious ahead of time and and checking to make sure that everything is is you know, good to go. Can you talk a little bit about why this idea of car seat safety is so important and maybe knowing ahead of time what to look for and what to do um, prior to the accident or when shoot, you realize that your, your child was not um, safely put in the car? And I will also be guilty to this. Um, when I had my son, thankfully we had his car seat installed correctly, but it was something that I wasn't even really sure about. I read the manual and we put it in and we hope for the best, you know, um, that's a perk of, um, like what I would do at an event, um, along with installing car seats, I am talking through what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, what's important. Something I learned through this class, even like some of the importance of what type of seatbelt is in each car and why that seatbelt is important because, I don't, I don't know much about cars and, um, like certain seatbelts are supposed to do, like you have to lock them a certain way for it to work with the car seat. And the average person does not know that I did not know that either. So it's just, it's one of those programs that we, um, we're installing car seats and helping the community, but we're also educating the parents and educating them why car seat safety is important. Um, just for an example, um, in the state of Illinois, you legally have to keep your child facing rear until they're two. And there's so many parents that the the day their kid turns two, they turn them forward facing. But that's something like we would we would educate too. It, they are much safer to be rear facing until they cannot anymore. So like each car seat will have a weight and height um, limit. And they suggest keeping your kid rear facing until they reach that. Because if you were to get into an accident, your child is much safer um, being rear. But so many people see that, you know, the age two, and then they just flip them around. Um, that's just one example of something that during a check, we would educate uh, them in. And hopefully, you know, they take that knowledge and they make the best judgment to what they think is best for their own child. If someone would like some more information about this program, um, maybe the services, more specific information about the services that you can offer, what that training is like, um, who should they contact and where should they go? Yeah, you can always reach out to me at my um, ROE email. So it'd be ateal at roe47.org. And I am always happy to answer questions or do a check or um, like Angie had said at the beginning, I, we are going to plan to do a check. Um, but that's always something that I can do outside of a big event too. Ashley, I'm so glad that you mentioned um, that opportunity for a check that is something that as a part of Child Passenger Safety Week, which is September 15th through the 21st, um, we are planning an event uh, to be held hopefully at our office where people can sign up for an appointment to come and meet you and get all of those safety checks, but also that great education um, that they are going to benefit from and their children will benefit from um, as a part of the Stay tuned for more information on that particular event and how to sign up. And uh, as Ashley mentioned, she is a wealth of knowledge and information as a result of that intensive training provided by the state of Illinois. 
So as we wrap up this teacher talk, we want all of our viewers here today to just be a little bit more aware if you put your child in the back seat of your vehicle. Um, I know that I've learned a lot in just these uh, last few minutes of talking with Ashley. I like Stacy. I don't have any little ones that are riding in car seats and I'm almost um, just a little bit ashamed that I didn't know more about that when my own children were little. So, so pleased and so proud to uh, offer this service to our families in Lee, Ogle and Whiteside counties. Ashley, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule here this morning on Teacher Talk and also a special thank you to my friend, colleague and co-host, Ms. Stacey Dinkus for joining us here and talking all things passenger, child passenger safety as we celebrate that observance September 15th through 21st. Thank you to our viewers for joining us this fine Thursday. We hope that you enjoyed this information. We also hope that you have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, an even better Friday, a beautiful fall filled weekend. Travel safely, buckle up, and we will see you right back here next Thursday for another edition of Teacher Talk.